Sometime after the 2020 census is made public, New Jersey will redraw its 40 legislative districts. It's called reapportionment or redistricting. The way it's been done is the Democratic and Republican state party chairs each appoint five members to the apportionment commission, and the chief justice of the Supreme Court appoints an 11th member if needed to break a tie. As first reported by Politico, a new plan being pushed by Democratic leaders would give two appointments to the party chairs and two each to the Senate president, the assembly speaker, and the two minority leaders. The chief justice selects a tiebreaker during the formation of the committee rather than at the end. Democratic Senator Nick Scutari is sponsoring a constitutional amendment that asks voters to approve the new scheme. It really is to try to take party bosses out of the, the system altogether. I mean, the party chair picking all of the members just doesn't seem as fair as it is to spread it around amongst the minority leader uh, and the uh, presiding officers. It gives everyone a more legitimate chance of being part of the process. It's being seen as a slap against Democratic State Chair John Curry, and by extension at Curry's ally, Governor Murphy, Scutari scoffs at that idea. I don't think anything could be further from the truth, quite frankly. If it's not broken, why try to fix it? It looks like a new episode in the feud between Senate President Steve Sweeney and the governor. Sweeney did not return a call for comment. Curry won't say what he thinks lies behind it. I think you should ask the people that are pushing this. I, I don't know. Uh, I, under, I know it was tried about three years ago, and it fell at that point. Uh, so I, I think you should ask uh, the people that are trying to make the changes of what the reason. Is it a slap? I don't want to speculate what their reasons are, uh, but it's very, very possible. But I don't understand it. The governor's office also had no comment, but the state Republican chairman did. What we're doing now is changing the rules of the game to respond to an inter-party civil war. You have two factions of the Democratic Party uh, who are fighting to either protect themselves or punish their opponents. And the only victims are going to be the New Jersey voters. That's part of it. But that's not the important part for the voters in this state. That's an internal political squabble that probably doesn't make any difference to the voters. Assembly Minority Leader John Bramnick, who would get two picks under the new scheme, says it's less about Democratic infighting and more about marginalizing the Republicans. Who picks the people on this committee uh, is not the important part of this plan. Actually, I'm happy to make a two-person selection, but that's not what's important here. What's important here is this is a plan to make this a one-party state. And in the weeds, when you look at it, that's their goal. Bramnick points to the way the bill redefines competitive districts based on federal and gubernatorial election results as the real poison for Republicans. All of the competitive districts must favor the Democrats because the federal election returns favored the Democrats. That's the underlying, in my judgment, um, approach that it's hard for the average person, even me, you have to study the legislation to see that's the goal. They've been out of power for a long period of time, so I imagine they should really welcome this as anything other than what they've been in, which is the minority for as many years as I've been in the legislature. This plan to change the way legislative districts are redrawn is up for a vote in the Senate Budget Committee this Monday, along with legalization of marijuana. Senator Scutari is a chief sponsor of each one. In Linden, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News. Thank you.